In this demonstration, I will show you how to describe thermal diffusion by coupling a steady state thermal system that uses the mechanical solver with CFX using system coupling. The case involves a heating coil immersed in a flow of water contained in a pipe. I want to determine the temperature distribution of the heating coil and the flowing fluid. To do this, I need a steady state thermal system to describe the temperature of the solid coil. I also need a fluid flow system that uses the CFX solver to describe the temperature of the moving fluid. Finally, I need system coupling to transfer data between each system so I can accurately model the exchange of heat between the flowing fluid and the solid heating coil. The fluid flow in thermal simulations have been set up. For this demonstration, I will review the settings pertaining to a coupled analysis in each system. In the thermal system setup, we can see that only the coil has been meshed. The container geometry has been suppressed. The initial temperature of the coil has been set to 250 degrees Celsius. This will be the coil's temperature during the first iteration of the mechanical solver. In the analysis settings, the simulation was set to have a single step. This means that within each coupling iteration, the mechanical system will calculate one step and then transfer the solution data to system coupling. The heat in the coil will be generated internally through the application of a constant power. The fluid facing surface of the coil was set as a fluid solid interface. On this interface, mechanical receives and sends thermal data to and from system coupling. Now I will close the thermal system setup and review the settings in the fluid flow system. As we can see, the mesh for the entire assembly is present. Under analysis type, we can see that the simulation is set to steady state. The default domain contains the interior and exterior walls of the pipe, as well as the inlet, the outlet, and the coil surface. As we can see, the fluid from the inlet passes the coil and then leaves the pipe through the outflow opening. The coil surface is set as a wall boundary. Its heat transfer option is set to system coupling. This allows CFX to transfer data to and receive data from system coupling. In the solver control panel, we can see the convergence control settings. Within each coupling iteration, the CFX simulation must reach convergence according to these criteria before transferring data back to system coupling. Now I can close CFX and update the components upstream of system coupling. Under Analysis Settings, I will set the maximum number of coupling iterations to 10. Now I will multi-select the coil surface and the fluid solid interface to create data transfers. This creates three data transfers. The first data transfer serves heat transfer coefficients from the coil surface to the fluid solid interface. I will change the convergence control settings of the data transfers for adequate solution quality. The second data transfer serves reference temperature data from the coil surface to the fluid solid interface. The third data transfer serves temperature data from the fluid solid interface to the coil surface. Now that the appropriate data transfers and convergence criteria are set, I will update the solution. All three data transfers have converged and the solution is ready for post-processing. I can analyze the solution in CFD Post by linking the solution cells to a single result system. Using CFD Post, I generated this temperature contour plot showing the temperature of the passing fluid and the heating coil. This concludes this demonstration, showing you how to use two way system coupling to describe the temperature of a flowing fluid in a pipe with a submerged heating coil.